Hey guys, Michael from EAK Crew Productions, and I'm going to be playing Fire King Avatars. Uh, he went first, this will be my first turn, and we're going to try to open Nuts Broken Ridiculous on him. We drew two onslaught, which is not the best, but we are probably going to be able to make this Grununix play pretty quick, which is awesome. Uh, response? I don't think there's going to be any. Alright, which is going to allow us a special seminar Grunix. Boo doo boop, boo doo boo. Ow! Special summon. Also, we could have gone for a Yaksha play, which then would have got the Grunix out of our hand. Uh, hmm. Now we could go one for one in here, which would go Lance there, which is what we're going to go ahead and do even though we did have another play because we could have just activated the other onslaught which now that I think about it might have been the better play ooh ban oops okay banish um we're gonna go ahead and place one face down and end our turn now he banished our Grunix so we're not going to be able to do the same shenanigans we were going to. However, he's not going to play any cards there. So we will summon this Guayba and go ahead and attack. This is most likely a telegraphed Gores, however. Yep, saw that one coming a mile away. You don't get two tokens. But... We kind of had to go into it, and that's alright, because we were able to deal some damage, he'll have to get Gwaiba off the field, and then we'll be able to go into another Grunix with our Onslaught. Alright, he's going to pop our Bottomless Trap Hole with his MST, run over with Gores, I'd be pretty certain. There we go, we'll take a 1,000 there, and then we'll take 1,700. And that should be pretty much the onslaught of his uh, attacking. He might set a trap or two there. Alright. So we'll go ahead and activate onslaught again. I don't think he's going to have anything for us. Let's move ahead. Uh, special summon our last runix from the deck and try to wipe out his uh, token. Alright, so he's going to go ahead and play that, adding it to our hand. We'll go main phase 2, activate fire formation 10k. Search for a Yaksha. and play that in uh, defense mode. Now, even though Yaksha is 19 and able to beat over the token, we want it in defense mode because it's kind of a bait to, hey, come destroy this. Of course, he knows that because we do have Grunix in our hand already because of his compulse. However, he did just make all of our Yakshas live, which is amazing. So he'll go ahead and send that to the graveyard. We'll send this to the grave as well. And then he'll hit us with 2,700. Of course, and we're gonna, at that point, start trying to come back from this duel. There you go. Obvious play. Don't know why it took so long for you to do it, but... Ooh, and here Monster Reborn, our own Grunix. Pretty devastating, actually. We 
We're gonna have to set mirror force. Um, hmm. And we're gonna have to go ahead and activate rekindling. Oof, but he's gonna get us there. So we're gonna have to go end turn. And this could be the end of us, folks. However, if he does not have a starlight road down, and this mirror force goes through, then we could be coming back right here, right now. Uh, during the next standby phase, after this card was destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard. Yes, that's what I thought it was. And that will special summon our Grunix. And now we will be able to go main phase one. Uh, let's go straight into the battle phase here and attack directly with 2700. Alright, we're going to go main phase two. By the way, you have to go main phase two. And then we will go ahead and set our Call of the Haunted. And the best thing here is we have 2,600 life points. So if he is able to special to destroy Garunix, ooh, that is going to hurt. Uh, luckily for us, he is a fool because we have an effect. Which allows us to special summon from our deck, I do believe, one Fire King monster, which is going to go ahead and be our Yaksha. So we're going to go ahead and special summon that in defense mode. He'll be sending that to the graveyard, which will in turn destroy that. Meaning on our standby phase, our Grunix will come back from the graveyard and pop his BLS. Alright, looks like we have a pretty safe play here to win. Especially since we have the Call of the Haunted face down and he has only one trap. Now we knew that was going to happen, but now we can activate the Call of the Haunted to bring back our Grunix. GG. That was a good match. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. This was Michael Ibsen from EAK Crew Productions, and I'll see you guys later.